Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Alright. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Shanita Wise and I am a business expansion coach and strategist. And today I want to share with you how to create the life that you desire and you deserve as a uh, business owner, as an entrepreneur. Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're watching and you're listening, I challenge you to um, write down some of the things that I'm going to share with you because I truly believe that they will help you as you continue to build the life that you desire and you deserve as a business owner. My goal is to always share with you as a business coach different things that's going to empower you to push you to the next level. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I have four areas that I want to discuss today. The first area is having the mindset of abundance. The scripture that sits in my spirit all the time is that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could think or ask or imagine. I just add, I just keep adding words, right? Because that's the type of God that we deserve. So as you build and create the life that you know you desire, a place of abundance, not a place of lack, the first thing that I really want you to do is grow your expectation level. I want you to expect things on a whole nother platform. I don't want you to continue to play it safe. I want you to expect God to do the exceedingly and abundantly inside of your business. I want you to take the, the other area is your prayer life. Take your prayer life to the next level. I want you to understand the promises that God has for you um, as a human being, as a child of God, but also as a as a business owner, okay, as an entrepreneur. So having the mindset of abundance is knowing what God has in store for you, knowing what God desires for you, knowing what he wants for you, but also you knowing what it is you want for yourself, knowing what it is that you desire for yourself and up leveling your expectation, up leveling your prayer life. Do you pray over your customers? Do you pray over your finances? Do you pray over your systems and your strategies? What all do you pray for when it comes to operating as a entrepreneur? Do you pray for your team? Okay. Do you pray that God will connect you with the right people and put you in the right spaces in order for you to up level and in order for you to grow? I can work with any type of business owner whose mindset has a mindset of abundance. Okay. But if you come to me with a mindset of lack, um, then that's, that, that's an area of concern because as an entrepreneur, we are constantly stepping out on faith. We are constantly taking risks. We're constantly investing in ourselves. You have to have the mindset of abundance if you want to truly, truly build the lifestyle that God wants for you, that God has for you. And then another area, so having the mindset of abundance, we talked about your expectation level, expecting things at a higher level, your prayer life, taking your prayer life to its next level. And then also, also a lot of times we hear the cliche and, you know, a lot of people talk about creating vision boards and vision journals, but I'm going to tell you that they work. Every year, and unfortunately this year we can't do it because of the pandemic, but every year me and my family, we get together. And this last year we got together with um, about 20 of us. We came to my house. To, we actually did it at my brother's house. We all, we had magazines, we had poster boards. Literally, we did our vision boards. We did our vision journals. And then everyone got up and shared what their goals were for 2020, right? So for me, I take my whole vision board casting to a whole nother level. I had a vision board for my personal life, for my finances, and then I had one for my business. And I was just having a conversation with my mother on yesterday and we were talking about our vision boards. Everything on her vision board came to fruition. Every single thing that she put out there in the, in the universe that she said to God, that she prayed to God about, Everything came to fruition. Then I looked at mine and about 75, 70 to 75 percent of the things that I put on all three of my boards came to fruition. They manifested themselves. Why? Because I put it out there and I prayed over it. Write the vision. Make it plain. 
I don't care where you're at in business. I don't care if you're a new business owner. I don't care if you are a developing or you are an expanding business owner. No matter where you're at, create the vision. Write the vision, make it plain, and pray over it. So having the mindset of abundance, taking your expectation level to its next level, taking your prayer life to its next level, and then creating those vision boards and those journals and really, really taking the time to do them. My 11 year old son did it. I mean, literally we all, and then we all got up and we presented on why we put it down on our vision board and what we were expecting. Okay. So prayer life, expectation life, like expectations, understanding the promises that God has for you understanding the promises that God has for you. Okay. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about as you build the life you desire as an entrepreneur is your work ethic. A lot of times I hear business owners say, I work from sun up to sun down and I'm doing all this work and all this work, but it's the wrong work. You must identify and understand where you're at as a business work as a business owner and then do the work for the level that you're at and the level you desire to go. That is why I created the business expansion quiz. It's not for me. It's for business owners. After 17 years of running businesses, of coaching, doing the research, um, being certified, having my degrees, I put this quiz together in order to help business owners identify where they're at and do the work in regards to where they're at so then they can know where it is that they need to go what's the next level the next step okay so you have the new development stage the growing stage and then the expanding stage okay that's why i created the quiz if you have not taken it it's in the description click the link it takes two to three minutes to take it once you take it if you really want to discuss what you found and the area you're at Schedule a discovery session. If you're anything like me, I would schedule a discovery session anyways, especially if there's a business coach saying, I created this for you. Let's talk about it. Okay. So your work ethic needs to be, it needs to be in the area of where you're falling as a business owner. Okay. That's very, very important. And you understanding the process, understanding that life is not going to always be perfect. So if life is not perfect, neither is business. You will have your ups and downs, but there's a process that you must follow. Work in that process. Do the consistent work on a day to day basis, making sure that you're growing and you're developing, even when it does not feel like it, even when it doesn't look like it, staying the course. So making your work at, at making sure your work ethic matches the level of business you're at, but also the level that you desire to go because you've identified your next steps by taking the business expansion quiz. I said a whole lot, right? But all that I said is very important as you expand. Like, where do you want to be at? Are you, do you want to continue to hustle? Or do you want to continue to take all these webinars and courses and things that you have to kind of piece together? Like, what are you doing as a business owner? What are you, are you talking a good talk? Or are you actually walking it? OK, so your work ethic and don't just at one moment be all the way in and the next moment you're going to go do something else. Where are you at? What does your work ethic look like? OK, so as you build the life you desire as an entrepreneur, make sure that you're working on the right things. Number three, identify the areas of business where you need to grow. I have worked with so many business owners and I literally, I see business owners who procrastinate consistently. They're always behind schedule. Okay. They're saying that they're going to do something. They put it out there and then it never, you know, it never grows. Um, it never comes manifests itself. It never shows up. I see business owners who are inconsistent that talk a good talk and every they made everything look all pretty and fancy, but inside the business is dying. So that's why you need someone like myself as a business coach. You need an advisor. You need someone to help you identify the areas that you need to grow in. Okay. 
um, as we talk about the areas of growth and de the development and expansion, I want you to understand, you know, the new the new development stage as a new business owner. This is a stage where you're building a strong foundation. OK, because building a strong foundation is really important for the growth of your business. This is a, an area where you're probably earning maybe 50,000 or less in revenue. Um, this is an area where you need to create a brand profile, identifying your mission, your vision, your target marketing position statement. OK, who's your ideal client? This is why you take the business expansion quiz, because in this new development stage, it tells you actually what it is you need to have in place in order to go to its next level. OK, so then another level of business. Let me pull this up so I can be able to share this with you is the growth stage. OK, the growth stage of business. This is key as well. And those of you who are tuning in and who are watching, make sure you're writing this down. You know, leave a comment in this in the comment area if this is blessing you, if this is helping you. But the next stage of business after the new development stage is the business growth stage. OK, now there's two areas in the business growth stage. There's one area of building and then there's one area of le leveraging, you know, in the building stage you're an emerging entrepreneur. You're generating between 50 to 80 thousand a year. You're thinking about replacing your full time job in corporate. You're earning revenue. Um, off your services and you're working to solidify consistent cash flow. You understand that creating systems around your marketing is important and you're and you're attracting more leads and your conversion rates are increasing. That's why it's important to take the quiz and you're interested in growing and generating more lead generators, growing your social media, growing your distribution list and expanding your brand or you're in the stage of leveraging and you're emerging uh, entrepreneur that's you've crossed the six figure mark. You're beginning to expand and diversify your portfolio with additional business branches. You understand your business can not be one dimensional and your goal is to develop those different branches to create six figures of revenue in each one of your branches. So that's the growth stage, right? That's a growth stage and this is what you identify as you take the business expansion quiz and again this is area number this is area number three identifying the areas that you need to grow at and then you have the business expansion stage okay this is a very important stage this is a very important stage because this is where you're you're after you take the quiz this is the 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 stage of business expansion you're either in the impact stage of business expansion or the empire stage the impact stage you're earning 300k to a million you're impacting many lives your list of leads and your clientele is growing you're beginning to have strong systems and strategies in place around the operations of running your business your sales funnels are solid you're you're you you set up the business the right way you're creating money in your sleep your branches of business are generating six figures and revenue is expanding like this is why it's so important this is why i'm talking about this it's so important to know where you're at so you can know where you're going and if you're in the business expansion stage and you're not doing these things now you know it's time to do it or the empire stage you're earning a million you're changing thousands of lives. You have identified areas of business where you're leaking. You have a coach. You're leaving money on the table. The coach is helping you. You're expanding the different levels of business. Like this is why it's so important to know where you're at in order to know where you're going. And then number four, number four, number four, seeking coaching and consulting and mentorship. That's called investing in you. That's called investing in you. You know, I am always investing in growing me. I just signed up for another course. OK, I've had business coaches that have mentored me and that have coached me. How can I grow my clients if I'm not growing? You know, I think about right now um, as we transition into our new president, Joe, um, president elect Joe Biden and um, Kamala VP, Madam um, VP, um, Kamala Harris and I think about the people who are advising them. Think about that. The people who are working with them, the people who are helping them grow so they make the right decisions. Everybody needs somebody to help them expand. 
okay and the thing about me when i work with my clients i help them in all the different areas we we work on spiritual we work on personal because those are key components to developing a solid business so investing and not always here's the thing and a lot of business owners want to do this they want to take a webinar take a course but they don't have someone holding their, their hand and walking with them when i had that in my business when i developed when i um, invested in coaching just to help. I already had the skill. I just needed someone to kind of see what I could not see. That is the phase where I grew the most. So creating the life that I desired, that's when I grew the most. And that's when I was able to put on new glasses and see the areas that I needed to grow in and the areas where I was leaving money on the table and the areas where I was doing very well. So as you build the life you desire as a as an entrepreneur, these are the four areas to focus on creating the mindset of abundance. OK, take your expectation to the next level, your prayer life, your vision boards, your journals, your work ethic, really knowing if you're working and doing the right things, the, the, the right work that's going to help you grow. OK, number three, identify the areas of business that need growth, that need growth and development, taking the business expansion quiz to help you with that. OK, and then scheduling time for us to chat. And then number four, seeking coaching, consulting and mentorship, someone who can walk with you to help take you to your next level. So listen, as we move into 2021. I want you to create an environment where you can win, not just watching million dollar business owners, not just watching half million dollar business owners, not just watching people who are no longer in the hustle phase, but they're actually running businesses. I want that for you. And I'm here to help you. So make sure if you take the quiz, you schedule a discovery session so we can really talk about what it is you need to put in place in order to expand. OK, let's talk about it today. I don't want you going into 2021 with the same mindset, with the same work ethic, with the same areas of growth and development, and you still doing it on your own. You don't have to. There are experts out there like myself that can walk with you and that can show you the way. OK, so change your mindset, create the lifestyle that you desire. And when I say that, I'm not only just talking about business, allow your business to create the life you desire, right? Build the home that you desire to live in. That's what I did this year. Okay. Build your pocketbook. Set yourself up where you can do the things where you're no longer in survival mode, but you're thriving and your business is working for you. And it's running in your sleep. You have products and services that are reaching your clients, that's serving them at the highest level possible. Have an open heart to receive. So now is the season, now is the, is the time for you to create and build the life that you desire. Build the business and allow the business to help you build the life. OK, so again, my name is Shanice and Wise. Thank you for joining me today. I pray that this sat and resonated in someone's spirit. Make sure you share it, share it, share it, share it on your page. Because if it's not for you, then I guarantee it's for someone that's following you. Um, but I pray that it is for you. I pray that this message will help you shift as you go into 2021 different. As you go into the next month in December, different than how you've been operating now. OK, so again, share this. Take the quiz, schedule some time to chat with me. I would love um, to speak with you about your journey as a business owner. Um, let's do the daggone thing. Let's do the daggone thing. There's so many, there's so much that God wants for you. There's so much that he has for you. But you have to be willing to do the work so he can bless you in that area. So again, this is Shanice and Wines. Boom, signing out. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the holiday. Um, be grateful. Um, I love you all. Leave me a comment, like it, share it. And again, have an amazing day.